Hello Himo friends and welcome to this new video. So, in the last Sword and Shield video, which you can find linked in the video description by the way, we have talked about thrust, as this kind of attack is the most important one with this set of weapon. But of course, cuts are still a relevant part of the fighting repertoire. So today we are going to learn our first four cuts, which we will use in our Sword and Shield fighting techniques. I am also going to build up a little cutting drill to better help you training these four actions. Ok, but why cuts are lesser important compared to thrusts in this combination of weapons? Well, the only medieval shield we see in medieval Hema sources is the buckler, and uh, with the buckler every kind of cut or thrust is possible due to the small shape of the shield. But with the triangular shield or heater shield, we have lesser space in front of us due to the size of the object. So we need to be smart in choosing our attacks and we need to pay attention to the execution of some cuts. Ok, so our first action starts from the guard named Seconda Custodia in the 133 or Posta di Donna in the Fiore manuscript. From such position we strike a fendente, so a downward blow, mandritto, so from right to left. This blow is easy to execute with the shield held in our standard position, so more or less extended forward. This is because it follows the diagonal of the shield. Start by training your cut from your standing position and then add a passing step. The second cut starts from the position we may end up reaching at the end of our first cut. This position is called Prima Custodia in the 133. From this position, which is also called Underarm for obvious motivations, we strike a Sotano, so an upward cut, Roverso, so from left to right. We cut with the true edge of our sword on the same diagonal we used before. If you don't know the difference between uh, true edge and false edge, check the sixth episode of my Longsword Beginner's Guide linked at the end of this video. We can execute this cut, as always, from our standing position or either with a passing step. Now we are going to put together our first two cuts. We start in Seconda Custodia, left foot leading. We strike our Mandrito Fendente with a passing step and then we go back with the Roverso Sotano. Try to be as clean as you can in the execution. Ok, third cut. We start it from the position called the Quarta Custodia in the 133, with the sword over the head. From here we start a Roverso Fendente. So here we need to move our shield to not cut into it. We are moving our shield in a slightly different way compared to what we have seen in the first video. This time we are going to close our upper left opening with the shield, while striking our Roverso in the meantime. You will understand the motivations behind this action in the future videos. So let's put our third cut in the drill. We start from the beginning, Fendente Mandritto with a passing step. Roverso Sotano with another passing step, and from the ending point of the Sotano we charge our blow in Quarta Custodia, and we strike a Roverso Fendente from the place. Very good, we are almost at the end of the drill. Ok, fourth cut. Now this cut needs a bit more attention. We start it from the Quinta Custodia, with the sword extended down on the right. From this position we strike a Mandrito Sotano with the false edge. We simply raise our sword toward the center line, snapping a cut toward the sword hand of our imaginary opponent. Here is where we have to pay attention. It's important to not hit our shield in the meantime. To solve this problem you may either go for a steeper cutting angle, more vertical, to completely avoid the problem or you may stop your cut after having hit your opponent. This uh, second option is only possible due to the snappy nature of this cut, which wants to reach a forward, elongated position, 
named Langot in 133, instead of moving toward another backward guard position. Speaking about footwork, we strike this cut with an accessory of the forward foot, which can be compared to a short lunge. Ok, let's put our fourth action in the drill. So, again, Mandrito Fendente with a passing step, Reverso Sotano with another passing step, Reverso Fendente from the place while protecting our head with the shield, and then our snappy Mandrito Sotano with the full sedge and with the accessory. And here we are, at the end of our drill. Of course, those are not the only cuts which you can use in your sword and shield fighting. Other options are possible too. But this is a solid basis to start building up your own fighting style. We will see more about sword and shield fighting in the future videos. So guys, thanks for watching and uh, as always, see you next time.